that trip to the dentist office right there. I mean, it's uh, it, it, I knew it'd come down to, to something like that and come down to finding a, a reason to win, just find an excuse, find a way to make a play. It's a pretty good win, you know, uh, not the start we wanted, but uh, this, is, this can get us in the right direction for sure. In the first game of the Matt Deggs Classic between the Raging Cajuns and his former team, Sam Houston State, Louisiana fell in heartbreaking fashion off of a wild pitch and extras. UL trying to even the series Saturday afternoon. If you are a fan of defense, this was the game for you. We start in the top of the third one on one out for Brandon Young. He gets the strikeout and Sebastian Toro guns the runner out at second to end the inning. Still no score. Bottom fourth, Cajuns have runners on the corner for Tremaine Spears and he is going to send a shot deep to right center field. It looks like it's going to hit the gap, but Colton Kowser coming up with the incredible diving catch to end the frame. Even UL fans were impressed. We head to the top of the seventh runner on third for the Bearcats, but Young gets Christian Smith swinging Young with one of his 11 strikeouts on the day. So it's seventh inning rally tie time and Louisiana produces bases loaded for Ben Fitzgerald. He has a high chopper to second base, but it'll be enough to score. Toro UL takes a one to nothing lead. So we go to the ninth young still on the bump looking for a shutout and he gets a big assist from his battery mate with one out. Toro throws out Anthony McKenzie at first. The next batter with Kowser on first. He throws to Hayden Cantrell for the acrobatic final out of the game. Young gets the complete game shutout as the Cajuns take game two one to nothing. Sometimes we down. This not a lot of energy. I just tried to make a play, bring some energy back in the dugout, get behind the game. Well, he makes you extremely uncomfortable in the bases. It tightens up leads. Guys don't want to run as much, and, and it's a definitive advantage. And the play he made right there was a, it was a game saver. Can't say enough about the job Brandon did. Three pitch max, four pitches at times, pounding the zone. Great, great tempo and attack. And hitters faced a tough one today in Dom and, and found a way to crack through there in the late innings and uh, give us a chance. He usually gives a, a couple sayings before the game. He said, be young, you know what a stopper is. And, it's kind of a loaded question, so I answered and he goes, you got to be that today, and I, I did all right. I did my job. That was special. Like, I mean, he helped me to it pretty good this year. Last year he kind of struggled, but he got back this year. We need that. Like, We need pitchers that like, can do that job. To beat them, you're going to have to go through them, and I thought we did a, a, a better job today of just attacking the middle right there, and we did so with fastball and a change up, and, and we're able, he was able to navigate it three times. In softball, the Raging Cages picking up a huge road victory at top 10 Florida, 7-5 to five to tie up the series. After trailing 4 to nothing in this one, the Cajuns scoring 5 in the fourth inning to take the lead for good. The rubber match of this series will take place at 11 a.m. Sunday.